Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. I'm back with another exciting tutorial and this time I'm going to show you a project which will be benefit for school students or college university students or for office going people. And here I have done something a calendar design where you can see here uh, I have put a project for the school children where I have put the heading as my school project and I have put the different subjects maths, physics, chemistry and biology and on the right side I have put the details where you can add all your mathematical formula or work or whatever you want to uh, show in the project and you can see here I have put a spiral binding and this is all done in PowerPoint and I have used two different designs this is the first one and I have used a morph transition also if you don't have doesn't matter but still this will work and when I click you can see here the focus the cursor goes to the physics and it will give you the details of physics and then some design some diagram and some formulas and when I click the focus will go to chemistry it will give the details of the chemistry or any of your project and you can see here the chemistry the font is bigger and when I click biology then you can talk about the biology in the subject likewise I have done one more design which is I'll just show you something like this chemistry and when I click it will go to physics and then maths so whichever design suits you either the vertical or horizontal you can use it so let's start how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide right mouse click go to format background and select picture or text fill and go to texture i'm going to select this particular medium wood and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size or if you want bigger you can make it more bigger also and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm just going to give a black color here and press ctrl d to duplicate and shape fill make it a light gray color here reduce the size and put it something like this where you have got or you can just say select both the rectangles align center and align middle then i'm going to add the spiral binding here to add the spiral binding go to insert shapes select a oval shape draw a very small oval shape and put it here and shape fill you can give again the black color and shape outline make it no outline I have to give it I have to make it more small let me just make it more smaller and if it is finding difficulty then you can just zoom in and then just put it here I'll make it more smaller also So let's see how it looks so it's looking this much small so i can just zoom in again sorry i'll make a little bit more bigger i think this is okay and then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select this one which is the curve i'll just click the curve here and one more curve click here click outside and then something like this if I make it a white color you can come to know see here I just make like this something like this shape outline I can increase the something like this this much width and I'm going to give a a gradient fill for this gradient fill I will first give 
white color then second stop I will give a dark gray color and then again I'm going to give white color this one I'll make it a dark color a black or something like this or you can just increase it you can see here it is coming like a metallic look let me just add one more here and give a darker color so you can see here the metallic look is there I'll just reduce the size and then I'm going to select these three options and sorry two options the oval shape and the spiral control G to group and control D to duplicate and just place it here next to each other and press control D to duplicate I will fit to screen control D till the end yes you can see here this is a perfect looking a spiral binding I'll select all and press control G to group it so you can see here this particular design is ready now now I'm going to draw the, the back side of the calendar so just let me just select all I'll move to the right side and then you can go to insert shapes select a right triangle draw the right triangle and shape fill I'll just give maybe some darker color shape outline make it no outline and rotate it flip horizontal and exactly put it here reduce the size see you can see here uh, it looks like a calendar table calendar now if you want you can add some more uh, right triangles here so that it will give you a perfect look so I'll just press ctrl D to duplicate this I will reduce the size shape fill I will give some lighter color and and I'm going to put it here let me just rotate it you can see here I'm giving a 3d look to this so I'll just send this back sorry let me just send this to back and then send back I'm going to insert a right a triangle just draw a triangle and adjust it this also I'm going to give some darker color shape outline no outline and send to back you can see here our design is ready for the full tabletop calendar and now let's put the more options on the front now I'm going to add the subjects here or your projects or whatever which you require to add it on the calendar so let me just go to insert shapes select a rectangle I'll draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and give some dark color and bring this spiral binding to front and you can give some shadow effect if you want then press ctrl D and increase the size you can see here and I'm going to give some different colors to this maybe I'll just use this color send back later on we can align it 
again press control D let me just increase the size control D I will increase to this much and I will give this color send back so likewise you can give all different how many options you want and send back so you can see here I have created all the options I need I will just align it and then you can type the subjects or if you want to add more if you want to add 10 12 5 6 it's up to you how much you want to add it so let me just keep it only three and I'm going to add the text now so I'm going to add the subject here for that insert text box I'll just type my school project center aligned I'm going to use the font which is century gothic make it bold and bring it here so this is your title and then press ctrl D to duplicate and here these are my subjects I'm going to use it white color I will just say this is match then again ctrl D I'll bring this down I will say this is physics and the last I will say this is chemistry and then I'll select this match I'll, this is my the first page so I've just increased the size to 24 if you want you can add some arrows or some other information also or uh, objects also let me just add an arrow here small arrow I'll make it black or make it white maybe shape outline no outline and you can give the shadow effect something this one you can see here and then you type the text whatever the text you want here so I'm just going to copy this I just say mathematics and I'm going to change the font color to blue and then what are the formulas or whatever you want to write it you can write it here so I'm not going to write the mathematical formulas I'm just going to write some text equals lorem within bracket one so assume that this is my text for mathematics so this is one of my uh, slide for mathematics is ready so you can add all your formulas or whatever you want to show for your school project and then I'm just going to right mouse click I'll just say duplicate slide and then I will bring this down the arrow and this physics I'm going to make 24 font size and this one I'm going to make it to 18 okay and I'm going to use a transition effect called morph you can see here uh, how it is behaving so if you don't have the morph transition also you can just simply uh, use this uh, uh, bring the arrow and make it down but it will not show you a good animation that's it so this one for me I'm just going to type physics and let me just change the color to 
this and if you have for example I've just copied this I can just say copy this and any paste any your diagram or any other thing you can add it here and if you want to change the color you can change the color too and once this is done for this I have just put the animation so it, it always spins and again if you want to go for the chemistry again right mouse click duplicate slide and bring this down let me just make this as 18 and chemistry I'm going to make it 24 okay and this is also chemistry I will change the font color to green and this also to green I will delete this and let me add one of my tutorial which I have done for the school kids so this is I'm just going to put it here so you can see here this is my math this is physics and this is chemistry so let's see how it looks in the slideshow so this is how it looks in the slideshow you can see here the projects math physics and chemistry when I click you can see here the transformation math and physics becomes a bigger one and this is rotating and when I click it goes to the chemistry that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.